Good morning. Oh, mm, butt head. Good morning. I'm Cosper Vega. Oh my gosh, my armpits smell like onions. I need a shower. That's my wife, Alexa Pena Vega. And welcome to our vlog. That was gross. So I have these Nikes that I got really, really, really dirty. Um, these got dirty at that Sony shoot because we were in the desert blowing things up. And these just got dirty because I rode my bike with them on. I really need to clean them and uh, I, I heard somebody tell me that I can just throw them in the wash. Alexa tells me I can't, um, but we're just gonna give it a shot. The problem is that these Nikes, like Nikes are so expensive. I mean, I think like each of these pairs is like 100 bucks. So if I put it in the wash, and they get ruined, and I, I never wear it again. I just lost $200, and like, that's just not okay. YouTube. So Nike's telling me not to put my shoes in the washer, and then um, somebody online is just saying to do it in the sink. So I have an idea. I'm gonna put one pair of shoes in the washer and then I'm gonna clean the other ones by hand and then we can just figure out which one works better. All right, so while we're waiting for those shoes to uh, clean or dry, we'll see which one works better. Alexa has made how many boxes? I don't even know. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, we cannot wait for all this new stuff to come out. It's coming soon, right? We're literally just waiting on, on a few things with the printer, and then we're gonna be printing them and getting them out to you guys. And trust me, you guys want them. We want to get them out, but the only person who is the most frustrated out of all of us, it's not me, it's not you, it's this one right here, because she's been working so hard. I'm not frustrated. I would like our photo, uh, not our photos, our prints ready. I would like our shirts to be ready, so I'm sorry they're not ready yet. Oh, well, I'm just saying, like, you're frustrated because you've been working so hard. We've that, been working so hard. Yeah, but, like... It's a team, guys. This is all you. <laughs> and, oh, and... We're getting new, uh, new, Seriously? new pictures and new and new. Alexis, this is good, babe. She keeps looking at me. I'm like, well, look. Because I'm looking at you, because you're right there. But <laughs> she likes looking at me. Anyways, uh, we should do this, and then we should get to the gym. I think so. Because we have a very important meeting today. I'll tell you about it from the car. Guys, we are officially sold out completely of our Cross Your Heart sweatshirts. Um, so awesome. Holy wow. That's awesome. That's really cool. Like, I thought it was cool when we sold out of uh, the uh, the uh, Team Vega and Team Brown Sugar ones, but dude, these. We sold out of these. Those are so meaningful, too. So meaningful. How many did we have total, like, uh, uh, to begin with? 120. Oh, how cool. All right, all right. This is all we got left. It is so exciting. And then we get new stuff. <laughs> all right, so we just finished. That's the damage. 19 packages deep. Woo -woo. Crazy, but thank you guys so much for continuing to support. That's awesome. That's a good week right there. Wow. Um, we are on our way to the gym, and then we're on our way to a meeting uh, for the Lexo's TV show. So hey guys, it is a good day. Is your PlayStation still on? Yeah. Are, 
I mean, I don't know if it's good. Well, the, the, the memory card's coming today. Okay, but I'm just worried that, like, I just don't want to burn it out. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't, don't I, I mean, I don't think a few hours is going to... Make or break it? Yeah. All right, puppies, we're leaving. You guys want to load up for me? Load up. Go load up, go load up, go load up. AKA, get in your cage. Go load up, go load up. Oh. We'll see you later. Love you. We'll be back in, like, an hour or two. They'll be fine. Just got to the gym, just finished my pre-workout, just put on my headphones, just talked to my <laughs> wife, and we're gonna go and do our stuff and work out because I'm so pumped up right now. How are you feeling right now? No more pre-workout. You're definitely not feeling what I'm feeling right now because I'm no feeling so pumped up right now. Do you want some? You probably should have oh. some because you have a baby inside oh of you and it's really gosh. not good for you. What, does it freak you out? You don't even drink coffee. I know. Why are you yelling? I'm putting my earbuds in. <laughs> Bye. I'm white too. No, I'm wiped. Oh, wiped. I'm I didn't wiped say white because right now, Alexa I'm was like, wiped. we're going to the tanning place today. I was like, sign me up. You just ran through a stop sign. That was not a stop sign. I guarantee you that that that, that, that was not a stop sign. Why are you, don't even put that out there. <sighs> Should I turn around? No. I'll show you it wasn't a stop sign. I believe you. And then everyone's like, Carlos, he's so feisty. Yeah, I'm, I'm Latino. I'm feisty. Do you know what I found out? What would you find out? I can't spray tan. I can put bottle tan on my body, but I can't like spray spray. Hey. Why are you getting in the left lane to turn right? Like that's his lane. Oh, sorry. That's his turning lane. Sorry, lane. sorry, babe. Do you know why I did that? Why? I don't know. I don't, I'm asking you. Do you know no, why I did that? I have no idea. Gosh. You stress me out when I'm driving. I freak out. I'm normally a good oh driver when I just like, no, I'm good when you're not here. <sighs> <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Carlos is getting annoyed. Yeah, because right Alexa turns off the camera when like the good we just had the I don't understand what this conversation was. She goes, she was saying something about the red light at, at the, the tanning the place. The red light is basically this thing. It's not a tanning, but it's really good for your skin it's healthy anyways she was like she was like i love doing the red light and i go yeah what what does it do to you and she goes i don't know it's good for <laughs> it's you. good for i'm you. like but like what does it do she's like i don't know and i go well that seems a little strange that you just do something because it's good for you but you don't know what it does that's so good for you and she goes well why do you work out huh because it's good for you i'm like no because, i didn't say it like that well that's how it came across <laughs> in my head okay and then, and then I said, what? No, no, working out, it grows my muscles because I want to look bigger and look like a superhero and all this stuff. And she goes, oh. And I said, but what does, what, what does the red light do? And she goes, well, well, it, it eliminates wrinkles and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's why I just asked you. <laughs> I forgot what it did. I, you know what? We can't recreate that conversation. <laughs> oh, I, I got cannot, a message. I cannot believe that we just had that conversation. Love you. By the way, did anybody see the, the uh, new GoPro stuff that came out? Pretty epic. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. We're on our way to a meeting. Peace out. We just got to our meeting. Uh, we're about to go in. I'm super, super, super excited. We're basically, we have a big pitch meeting on Wednesday. So this is like the pre-meeting. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of a crazy process. It's like, it's like the group chat. Yeah. Just to prepare yourself for Wednesday. <laughs> okay, but okay, but like check it out, cause we're learning this whole process about selling a show, um, just like you guys are learning through us. So we're all learning at the same time. But we're basically gonna go in again uh, today and just get our pitch down, so that when we go in on Wednesday, right? We actually know what we're. We talking know what we're talking about, about uh, and we're we're just excited that things are finally moving and I think I think it could be a really cool a cool next step for us. It could be the best next step. Shall we do this? Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna finish my cheese. Guys cross your fingers. This is gonna be great. Oh yes! I love them. What I love an epic guys. meeting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited guys. 
The show idea is incredible. It's you had good ideas. It's hilarious. Too. I brought some ideas. You brought some good ideas in. It's just really cool. Like we've gone and pitched shows before, but never with like a really good team like this. Like this is a solid team. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny because you and I will have a bunch of different ideas because we love coming up with stuff. Yeah. And we'll pitch it, but having somebody actually behind you makes such a difference. Yeah, yeah. So I feel very good about our meeting uh, that's coming on Wednesday. So stay tuned, keep watching the vlogs, guys. If this happens, like, you guys are going to get to see Alex Los TV show, like, like, happen from the beginning. That'd be really cool. Like, like they, they were a part of the... Like, you were a part of it. Like, like literally from conception to... What's the final of Birth? conception? Birth. <laughs> Excited! Excited! <laughs> That's my heart beating. My heart beating so fast. It's beating uh, so fast. Oh, oh, look at that. It's kind of like the Jaguar is going crazy. Ah! Um, is this Seth McFarland's production company? Well, there's a Ted Bear with a martini outside of it. I would <laughs> imagine... Oh, I wonder if that's his uh, awesome Range Rover. <laughs> So we're like literally right now uh, on the back lot of Universal. Um, it's so crazy. I just saw one of those studio uh, tram rides oh, going through. I should have videoed that. And literally, we used to take those all the time, and it's so weird that like we're back here right now. Because normally I'm on it and I'm like, whoa. What are they filming? What are they shooting? Look at this backstage. And then here we are just driving in the back lot. <laughs> I feel very blessed. Okay. Oh, what are they filming right here? Show them. Show them. Oh. Here they're filming a uh, superstore. I think that's what it's called with a oh, look, 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 look. oh yeah, here's the tram. The tram. Hi. Hi guys. Yeah, nobody saw us. No. What, what, what is it? I think it's because your wife was tinted. Oh, oh yeah. No, Mindy Project. Oh yeah, this one's Mindy Project, but that one's Superstore. Dude, look at that. Superstore. That's the Mindy Mini Project director. He has the same car as me, which means that I that could probably you could be direct. A director. <laughs> The mini project one day. Oh my gosh. And that actually doesn't mean that, but. Oh my gosh. Dance today. We want to get some whistle and hey, dance. Hey. There we go. Dude, <laughs> you always brighten my day, it's man. Nice, it's nice, brother. You know, uh, the way you treat the people nice, they'll be nice. Amen. Amen, brother. We I love, love it. it. And what's your name? Harry. Carlos and Alexa. Oh, Alexa, be nice. Hello, Harry. Nice you're to meet amazing. you. You're you're amazing. We'll see you soon, buddy. Bye. All right, yes, sir. <laughs> he's so awesome. Every time we've come, he's always like, <laughs> that was amazing. His name is Harry. We're not, not gonna forget that guy. <laughs> So we just came to check up on the car. Whoa. <laughs> it's completely a park. Like, it's not my car. It's not the car that I, I've ever... Hold on. We're literally gonna see it right now. Oh, I could see it from here. Oh, really? Oh <laughs> my gosh. How crazy is that? Wow. Hi, car. <laughs> ah. Dude, That's see, man. so nuts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Well, he said that he's gonna hopefully get it to us um, before Ocean is born. Before Ocean is born. Look how many Teslas are here. This is crazy. This is two months. Oh, I know. I was videoing this oh the other day. I was like, it's like. Gosh. I don't want to say it's a Tesla graveyard. It's a Tesla Tesla hospital. <laughs> Tesla yeah. hospital. Okay. Um, headed home. Um. All right, guys. We made it home, and I have a quick shoe update. Check this out, hold on one second. Quick shoe update. Um, okay, so the shoes that I washed in the washing machine, don't do that. Not because it ruined the shoes, it didn't clean them. They were still dirty, babe. Yeah, you clean them much better than the wash. The ones that I clean with my hand are dry. Hands, look at that. Like new, like seriously, they look great. You know, if you wash the, the soles, you can still see my footprints on there. Oh my gosh. But they smell amazing. Do you know the difference between you and the washing machine? What? Your OCD. Why? Well, no, I'm saying oh. your OCD. <laughs> so you're yeah. very... Come on, these things came out great. I'm sorry. No, they're amazing. These things came out fantastic. They're... Look at this feast that Alexa has cooked up. These things apparently are, are taking place of any carbs or rice. Then we're having some manchego cheese, which is my favorite. Then we have all this and a salad. It's a good day in the Penta Vega household, babe. I'm very excited for our, for our meal. I'm very excited for our meal. Let's do a garden update before it gets too dark. Babe, you coming? Uh, yes. Corn update. It's good. Look at how great it looks. Yeah, listen, Chris Soul said that our, our corn sucked. Well, look at how pretty it is right now. 
Oh, that's pretty epic. I'm sorry. Get all your yellow bell peppers, banana peppers. Oh my gosh. These are all ready. Look at that. Wait, ready? Yeah. That's great. More of these red peppers are coming in. That one's not turning red at all. I would like it to turn red. Yeah, me too. Look, look at these jalapenos. There's jalapenos coming in. The kale, of course, is growing like crazy. This uh, cilantro, I've got to cut back. This corn is a. Look at this. The parsley is flourishing. Where the freak did these things come from? There's bean. Oh. Uh, look at uh, the beans. Uh, oh. Oh my gosh. That's a bean. Look at right here too. Oh. <gasps> Look at the beans, They're all over. guys. They're all over. Look, 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 look. Look at the beans. beans. Boom. Oh, we're going to have so many beans. I can't wait to do the beans. Those are going to be everywhere. Oh, is that a strawberry? Babe, it is. Where? It is. All these are strawberries. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. He's a little guy. Look at that tomato in the back. It's starting to turn red. We're getting some tomatoes. And then, basically, these are just, just have to get keep pushing in, right? Yeah, those we got to bend in. Perfect. Oh. Keep on doing that. Wow, it's working. Yeah. Look at this guy. Jalapeno. It's a little jalapeno right there. Hello, little jalapeno. Green beans. Wow. I'm still in shock that the strawberries are working. Like, look, babe, that's one, two, three. That's six strawberries right there. Check it out. It's a you. Oh, wow. It's like, look at the sky tonight. Gorgeous. And then our. Beautiful grass. Don't you guys love it? Look down. Yeah, just don't look down. Look at the laces. They they're so clean. They're still. Oh my gosh, those orange are bright. Yeah. You know what they say about Latinos? We don't want to clean shoes. I would just like to point out that my wife makes an incredible meal every single night for me. That woman right there. Round of applause for you. I'm gonna go up and finish editing, and then I think tonight we're gonna get in bed and watch. Little shop of horrors. She, horrors. She's never seen it. <laughs> Lex is like, uh, what? what? She's actually never seen it. No, no, you know, like, little shop. No, she's not here. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, how many of you guys have seen it? It's one of my favorite. We are about to watch Whitney and Vanilla Ice. Rooting for you all the way, Whitaker. You look um, so cute. Yeah. So well, cute. I, I'm not sure if Whitney watches our vlogs, but. Let's Whitney, think that you look cute. You need to watch our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wit, come on. <laughs> Honey. Ow. Oh, she's owning it. Yeah, girl. Dude, she is owning it. Come on, Wit. Woo! Listen, Vanilla Ice. I like you. But Whitney, you killing it, girl. You killed it, girl. Like literally, Alexa and I were sitting here like, what? I you owned so you own that you own that character right there. You owned it. Good job. So I'm here in the office. It's midnight. Um Alexa's covering her uh Why am I covering my face closed? Because I just farted. And um we are FaceTiming our amazing friends, John and Hannah. Hannah does not want to be on camera right now, so she's not on camera, but John is here. Oh, no, here she is right here. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Literally, she's due any minute now, like I keep saying, so we oh, always talk. Literally any minute. And, and literally, any anytime John FaceTimes me, I'm like, ah, the baby's coming. Yeah. And I called John today, and he thought for some reason our baby was coming, which is I kind just, of- I'm jumpy. Dude, I'm it's jumpy. kind of a crazy thought, though, because if Ocean comes before Bella, Ocean is older than Bella, even though Bella was conceived two months prior to Ocean. Yeah, no, Ocean. We tried to, to sink it out. He needs to cook a little bit more. Yeah. Ocean's not allowed to come out yet. Yeah. Anywho, we're we're gonna get to sleep because uh, we're keeping him up. I'm keeping her up, and Ocean is actually sleeping right now, right? No way. Really? No, he's, he's moving like he's crazy. Not stopped moving. Was that far? Is Bella yeah, moving? Hannah texted me. Oh, that was that was her too. phone vibrating. Yeah. Okay. But what I can tell you is Hannah said that when she has her epidural, she read on a blog today that apparently uncontrollable gas is one of the. Hold on, hold on. So that's gonna be. And, that's and gonna poop. be interesting. Are you kidding me? It's uncontrollable oh. gas and poop. And poop. Yeah. Did wait, hold on. So how do you poop? Do you get like a like a basket under your? A bedpan. Oh gosh. It's and you, it but it far. just comes out. A lot of times, women poop in labor. Cause you're pushing. I need to go to sleep. This is disgusting. What's up, guys? 
Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, I gotta start off right off the bat and just apologize that we have not been uh, consistent these past couple days. Alexa and I, we have been uh, pretty busy. Uh, we we spent the weekend, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, serving at the, the Mosaic Church Conference, which you'll see in the upcoming vlog probably later this week. Yep. And then Sunday we had to shoot a, mus a music video, a music video, a music video for a friend. And then uh, yesterday we were crazy busy just getting stuff done and. It'll all be in vlogs. We've just been been swamped, and we're trying to figure out um, a good balance of of our time and, and our our work efforts. Go ahead. Yeah, and after all of that, this morning we finally took some time for ourselves <laughs> to sleep. We in. I, th I think we slept until eleven. We did. 11 we slept about twelve hours, and we needed it, it so was, badly. It was so much needed. Thank you. I was I, I was definitely getting sick sick yesterday, which you'll see in the vlog. I was a very you know what yesterday's vlog. I was grumpy the whole time, but you were you'll see so it. You'll see it. Grumpy yesterday. But this made us think about the perfect wow for today, um, and I'm I'm gonna start with this scripture, and then we'll just go into it. Okay. Uh, Ephesians five fifteen to sixteen says, "So be careful how you live." Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity. Make the most of every opportunity. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I saw dot, 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 and I was like, oh, there's more. Make the most of every opportunity. And I've been reading, uh, or I've been being read this book because I listened to it. And no, we're, we're not sponsored by Audible. I just like Audible. It's just an audio book uh, that you're listening yeah. to currently. Oh, why? Uh, my lips too chapped. You have like one hangy. Sorry. I don't want to pull it. It's okay. I've got some chat lips. You'll see in, in later vlogs. I feel vlogs. so badly for Carlos though because I'm like staring at Yeah, I'm like, jeez. Come here. You better? I love you too. Okay. So, this, this audio book that I've been listening to, it's all about productivity. Um, and they, the, the, the author talks about working smarter and not harder. And I found that so interesting because Alex and I, we... We're trying to take on so much yeah. at once, and we and, and we love it. Like we've truly been praying to God. We're like, bring us opportunity, big or small. Keep us busy. Let's work. Let's hustle. And let me tell you, God is providing because because some of these things, you know, don't really do anything for us, but it's us serving others. And 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 some of these things are very small with with like an, an even smaller return. But we're thankful to be busy and we're, and we're thankful to be working. So. We've been doing this thing every single Monday as of yesterday. So we started yesterday. <laughs> well, Carlos has already been working on this alone for a little bit now. Yeah. It's just impl been implemented into our family. Yes. Five. So I challenge you guys to try this. We're trying to 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 make the most of our time and again work smarter, not harder. So we are taking every single week, every Monday, we're we're laying out three of our priorities. Um, in our business each that we want to accomplish. Three priorities weekly for personal accomplishment. Mm -hmm. um, whether you know it's like going to the gym or Alexa really wants to organize her closet, so that's one of her things. And and then each day we're going through and we're uh, setting three things that we would like to accomplish during the day. Um, not only does that help just keeping you on track, but when you finish those things at the end of the day, you feel way more accomplished because you got you you completed the task that 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 you put for yourself. The three tasks. Yeah. And it's, it doesn't have to be. Oh my gosh! Here's my huge list of things that I have to do. So it's overwhelming. I think the greatest thing about this productivity book that he's listening to is that it's to take away the overwhelming sensation because when you feel overwhelmed, then you get nothing done. Yeah. None of it actually gets accomplished. Whereas when you focus in on just three things, you can do that. Daily. Yeah. Yeah. Well. What's what's also really interesting is that when you focus in on those three things, it also limits your procrastination. Now, I'm a huge procrastinator. I don't know about you, babe, but I get distracted by YouTube, especially when I'm editing. I'm like, let me just check out what uh, you know this vlog. This is da da da. I think it's hard to keep your attention on one thing. That's what it is. So I I have a solution. We met. By making things a little more interesting, because that's why we procrastinate, because we're bored or we're not into it. By making them a little more interesting, you can then uh, help avoid uh, procrastination. So, say that you have to do your taxes. Let's say, for instance, okay. sitting at home doing your taxes is just, it just stinks. Go to a, like a little cafe or something, sit there, and change change your environment so your mind your scenery a little bit mind doesn't wander as much and then give yourself like i don't know like a little celebration like every 30 minutes of work 
you get to, you know, play your game or like read your book for 15 minutes. Yeah. So you get a reward. So, so like for instance, every morning I say, I can't go to the gym until I finish the vlog. That's why we're still here in this That's year. why we don't leave? Yeah. It would be so easy to just get everything done so quickly and then come back and do the vlog because then you have all day. You know, I'm I'm learning and I'm, and I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, bottom, of, bottom line is God really wants us to make use of our time and I believe work smarter, not harder. I, I do agree with that. I still think you should work very hard, but you work harder and you work smarter. Oh, oh, uh, you know what? I, I like today's words of wisdom. I think you did a really good job. We did a good job, but but look, like, I feel like this is something that has really pertained to us these 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 past few weeks. Yeah. And it's like we're taking all this in, and then we're sending it all out to them. And yep. Good. It's just good. Well, we love you guys. Um, God bless. And Start thank, making your little three things. Yeah, and thank you for just continuing to watch our vlogs, even though we haven't put anything out for three days. Bye. We really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and uh, continue commenting below. Let us know if you have any prayer requests uh, for us, because we want to be praying for you guys. So please write them down below um, and continue praying for each other. We love seeing that. Like I always say, it uh, it tickles my heart. It tickles your heart. <laughs> it tickles your heart, Carlos. Do you want to end us today? Um. I'll do it. Chop it up!